everyone welcome back to my channel my name is BB and on this channel I go through my finances budgeting and um, savings journey so if this is something that you guys like please like and subscribe to the channel uh, so first things first we're going to count the money that I'm going to stuff it should be two hundred and eighty dollars I did go ahead and put in uh, my cents which was about forty eight dollars into my Ziploc bag and also whatever money that I received whatever change I had left from last week that also already went ahead and I put it in my Ziploc bag so let's go ahead and count this then shall we 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, and 80. That's $280 there. So we're going to leave that right here for right now. I also have some... Um, prop money that I'm also going to be stuffing most of everything in the prop all of everything that I represent in the prop money that I'm going to be stuffing is already in my account um instead of pulling it out just to put it back in I left it in my account it's 20 30 40 45 50 55 57 59 60 and 61 dollars First thing we're going to go over is what I have left from last week in my cash envelopes. What I had put in here was my eating out. I know it says groceries, but it was actually my eating out um, money. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I have left from that. Gas, I have $4 left. However, my spending owes my gas ten, a dollar and um i have ten dollars left here so and technically i only have nine dollars left i didn't have enough change so so that's why it ended up that way yeah so that's what i have left in my uh cash envelopes i'm going to put them over here for right now and i'll let you guys know what i'm going to do with that at the end um, first, we're going to go ahead and stuff my um, cash envelopes, but I'm going to go ahead and put this grocery envelope aside, and I'll let you know what I'm going to do with that in a minute. First is going to be gas. I budgeted at $60, but I went ahead and filled up my tank already. So now we're only going to stuff it with um, $30. So that's 20 and 30. Okay. For spending, we're going to, I budgeted out for $20. And that's going to be a 10 and two fives. A 10. And two fives. It's 10, 15, and 20. So that's that for that. The next thing is going to be eating out, and that's going to be $30. So that'll be represented with a 20 and a 10. I do not have a cash envelope for that, so that just goes into my purse. So I'm going to put that there for right now. The next thing I'm going to budget four is for fun and i only have five dollars for that again i don't have a cash envelope for it so i'm just going to put it right here and then the next thing is uh, my miscellaneous one two three for miscellaneous one two three all of this is going into my purse so i'm going to go ahead and put that in here aside too 
Okay, so we're going to move on to our cash stuffing. First thing we're going to do is put this over here for right now. It's our rent. Rent gets a hundred dollars. No, my rent is not a hundred dollars. It's six hundred dollars, but I put a hundred of it aside to go towards my rent every time I get paid on the uh, paycheck that I don't have to pay my rent that I don't have to pay my rent on. So that's there for right now. Oops. And then um, for beauty, that's getting twenty dollars. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety. Okay. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety. I'm sorry. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, ten, and fifteen. So that's how much I have in beauty. It's a hundred and fifteen dollars. Okay, for kids, I'm going to stuff that with a thirty dollars for their lunches. I'm not stuffing the twenty-six challenge. I did that last week, and a dollar challenge is not going to be getting anything either. Now for groceries. I'm going to be stuffing that with $10. I decided to make a fund for my groceries so that I can eventually stop using my credit card to get groceries. So the first thing that I have here is $10 for that. So that's going in my purse for right now. So that's it for the cash stuffing that I have in my wallet right there. So the next thing that I have is birthday and I'm putting a 10 and a 5. These cash, they are looking really, really bad. I used to work at a bank and around this time is when everyone goes to the bank and asks for new brand new cash and then for some reason they bring in their own their old crusty money and I didn't stipulate this time around that I wanted good looking bills sure I should have done that but I added another 15 in there so that's 10 20 25 and 30 so I have 30 and birthday so now we're going to go to health. Health will be represented by um, prop money. And I'm putting 15 in there. Because I have a doctor's appointment coming up. And I need $15 for my copay. So that is right there. These stickers I also got from Baddies and Budgets. I also got this calculator, this envelope for our, my emergency fund, and um, this bag right here, this pencil bag. So that's 10, 20, 25, 30, and 35 in health. This bill's envelope is for the magic month that I'm looking for. I have $11. I know I should have $40 in there, but I took out the $21 that I put aside to pay for my Wayfair card, and I also took out $8 of it to pay for toiletry. I only have $30 on me to pay for toiletry, so I took out $8 from there, but I'm going to pay that $8 back because the next thing will be 20 and 23 because 8 plus... 15 is $23. So let's see what we have in total. It's 20, 30, 32, 33, and 34. The next 
savings rollover is not going to get is going to get something later. So we're going to go over here to emergency fund. I am going to use the challenge that she has on her book with this. Um, I've been putting 1% uh, of my paycheck to um, a promotional account that I have. And um, I didn't know what I was going to do with that money. But now I know I'm going to use it to my month ahead fund. Um, I'm already using the uh, 26 challenge to fund for my emergency that I have in that account right now is 20, 30, 35, and 37 dollars. I'm going to add the 13 dollars that was deposited already into that account. So it's 10. So that's 10, 13, and yeah, 10, 12, and 13. I'm going to add that in. I don't mind counting it all together, so let's go ahead and do that. Sorry, 20, 30, 40, 45, 47, 49, and 50. So there we go for that. All right. So I also put five dollars in each of my kids um, savings account so we're going to go ahead and put the prop money for that so that's ten dollars five for each of them in the kids envelope for right now that seventeen dollars is going to my savings challenge but first we're going to go ahead and decide what we're going to do with the money that I have left over from last week. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. That's more than I expected. So $10, so $15, 10, 20, 30, 40, 15, which is going to be everything from my spending and from my eating out whatever I have left will go automatically roll over into my grocery fund like I said my spending owes my gas a dollar so 59 and um, six is fifteen dollars that is going into uh, my grocery fund and then the last five dollars here that was in my gas will be going into uh, my savings rollover that I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And I'm going to put... Do I have to pull it out? Yeah, I'm going to have to pull it out. There it is. Put this in for my grocery. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fill up my envelope for my hundred and my hundred envelope. And I'm going to put seventeen dollars in the seventeen envelope here. So that's that. I don't pull out the boxes, it's ugly and it's encumbersome. It's very big. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe um, and comment. Um, until next time, uh, bye for now.